got some graduates. somebody that works hard and and tries hard all the time and I if I see them slacking a little bit I'm not gonna put up with it you know what I'm saying and she there's times and she goes out there and she pushes but then there's sometimes that you know she was like oh because JC I'm hurting a little bit and I knew she was still trying and I knew she was pushing hard but I still give her 30 exercises just to hey. motivate her <laughs> Who? that was the rest of us you cost us an extra 30 seconds I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, you need you know, when she first came here, she was passing out tracks at the fair. And man, you, I've never seen anybody to this day that could pass out tracks faster than she could. And, and every time they said no, she got a bigger grin. And she kept going, chasing them down. They took it. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's true. I went through like four boxes in two hours. Wow. Well, I made it. Hey, if you want in a box. So, you're all excited and fired up. What are you going to do now? I'm um, going to go to second phase yeah. and sound. Yeah. And there's a lawyer. Well, there it is. Come on, Joseph. I'm in my office studying for soul winning, and I hear somebody screaming out there. This sweet little thing. It's all for God. Yeah, in other words, you're doing whatever what God puts in your heart with all your heart. You ain't backing down. No. I'll follow him to the very last breath. What's on your heart? What's on your heart? Honestly, I'm just so grateful. For, um, sorry, for each and every single person here. It's such a struggle for me um, without my kid. And I know there's people here who are struggling without theirs. Um, 
Lisa, all my sisters, whether we've gone through hardship. Um, it's really brought out my character and who I'm thriving to be. Not striving, because I don't like that word, because it's just trying, like I'd rather just do it, you know? Yeah. And so, um, I pray in earnest, like, like how Pastor Wall says, get in the grit of it, like shake it with everything that you got. Like I'm fighting eternally, like, and people don't see that, but I mean, if it were up to me, I probably would have been gone by now. But um, the encouragement, just even from just anybody, really helps, even if it's just a small word, or that could be like a huge milestone for that person, you know? Amen. And so um, I pray for my daughter every day. I pray for a lot of people's kids here. Um, I just know that I just want to be who he wants me to be, and I'm really honest to God, trying to get outside of myself and stop being so selfish within my own issues and just really seek God like with everything I have. Um, I'm moving upstairs. I'm still doing church and missions, but I'm going to be working with Anthony in the print shop of PDC staff. I'm still doing the marches, though. She's real. JC, yes. did she ever give us an extra 30 seconds? She's one of the hardest workers out there. No. You tell, I'm telling you, she is something. Yeah. She looks so sweet, dainty. <laughs> you know, the Bible says, whatever you have to do, do it with all your heart. Guess what? Yeah. She just drives around the water. That's crazy. Yeah. 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 How oh, was it? Uh, it was a long journey, long journey. I made it a long journey though. I came in three years ago on Easter Sunday. And it's kind of cool how you made it work out that I graduated on Easter Sunday. So. 36 bucks? <laughs> well, I was here for five months and then I left. I left. It, it took you 36 months? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I was very hard headed and stubborn. All right. Anybody else in here like that? <laughs> hey, JC, you ever give us an extra 30 seconds? Because he's a good workout, too. I'm still watching him. Are you even watching him? I'm still watching him. Oh, you still, he, but he had, at this point he hasn't? He has. He's in high equipment, though. <laughs> what are you doing now? I'm going to second phase, and I'm um, going to keep on doing my ministry with media, and God bless you guys. Yeah. It's fun, isn't it? Fun ain't the word for it. What's the word for it? Yeah, fun. It's blessed. It's, it's full of love. People that don't give up on me, I just want to thank Pastor Daniel, because he basically mentored me when I came in here three years ago, and during the time I was gone for three years in jail, and out on the street, he stayed in contact with me, writing me, trying to get me to come back to the program. And he just here with open arms when I came back looking for a place to come. He sent the hound to heaven out after you. <laughs> Somebody called it the paraclete. Yeah. I call it the Holy Ghost. Yeah. This this place is real, isn't it? Yeah. It's real, real fun. I mean, really, we are what we are. Chat. People are going to know who you really are. You can try to be something you're not. You can hide. You can do whatever you want. But, but that's not. We're not looking for people <laughs> checking them out. We're just trying to help them. Does that make a whole lot of sense? Yes. There's a lot of people here that are really, really struggling. But there's a lot of people. I mean, that's in a good way. And there's a lot of people who are just. I don't know if they're afraid to try or they don't want to try or they don't love the Lord. They 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 say they might, but I I think some of them do. But I think we just need to keep doing what we're doing. Be real. Let the Holy Ghost have His way. His way, because he's a he. Yeah. No yeah. Yeah. Victory. Somebody yeah. told me you got some pretty cute ankles. Can we see them? Yeah. Oh my life, what do you got on there? Well, that was a brace. Well, I thought you had cute ankles. <laughs> you know, he's been in prison for. 33 years. I've been here for six months. Hey. Take this thing. Put me on the spot right here. <laughs> yeah, why not? Yeah. Yeah, I've been locked up 33 years and uh, I've been blessed. I've been here, I've been out six months. I got blessed with a job. Pastor Daniel, thank you. JC, thank you for everything. Uh, 
I got blessed with my family. I'm talking more to my family now, and uh, I'm kind of nervous up here. Amen. <laughs> Thank you for uh, giving me a job, and uh, my family's proud of uh, Usher Construction. So, uh, I've been blessed a lot lately since I've been here. This is uh, this was a real challenge for me. Thank you, Mr. Louie. <laughs> this, uh, this is rougher than prison, right? <laughs> hey, guys, have been in prison. Is that true? Yeah. This is rougher than prison? Well, praise the Lord. That's good preaching. I've uh, been full with the Holy Spirit. So I'm blessed. I, I had a heart of stone, but I have a heart of flesh now. I, I was selfish. I can be, uh, I'm not like that anymore. I see somebody crying out here yesterday, and uh, the female that was crying out here, she just. It's the Holy Spirit going to her, so don't worry, okay, everything will be all right. Yeah. You know, he, uh, he still got to say God, and he had a day to go to the pro board, but because of, they, they canceled it. We're going to go down there with him. Yes. We're going to go down there. And that's what. The, how many know that's what it's all about? You know, you, we need to, we need to fight for real encouragement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you see what's happening in their lives. They're getting blessed. The people that know their God are getting blessed. They're getting strong, be able to withstand. Not only that, endure, but do exploits. God bless you. What? I was on stairs. I was just supposed to be in here, but I came for prayer for altar call. Who's watching the stairs? It was pretty good. It was absolutely good. This place is, man. There's nothing like it, for real. It's nothing, nothing like this place. You guys have to like, seriously soak up this opportunity and like, know that you are here. You're not here because you just wanted to be here. You need a place to crash. You're not here. You're here because God brought you here. I mean, that a lot more. I tried to leave. I couldn't know. We're here, we're here for a reason, you guys. I'm mean, serious. Look at the time. Look at the world. The Bible tells you, but, but the Bible is unfolding in front of us, you guys. We see it. Like, know that it's here. This ain't no joke, man. So if you're like, you can't tap out, don't tap out until God lets you, man. I'm telling you right now, please. Let's have a fast talk God says. See? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Keep on asking now. You guys, all we, we just have to truly understand who we are in God's eyes, you guys. Like with the Bible, the, the Bible is the infallible word of God. That is the truth, you guys. Like there's no, it's not what you think or what someone tells you. Who cares? It's what God says, who God says you are. It's not what your parents, who, no, no one else says. You're not a felon, a drug addict, a whole, you know, none of that stuff. You're a child of God. you got to walk in this way. I'm serious. You guys gotta walk in this, the what he's getting, the what he's done for us, guys. It's, it's beautiful, man. The, dude, if you don't know, if you're not reading your word every day, I so I really, I really need this. I feel, man, I'm talking to you guys, man, for real. Like seriously, do soldiers, you guys, man of God, like so, check them on, man. Like seriously, step it up. Don't tap out, please. If you're your first phase, then I know what it is, man. I think it's, it's what it is. But just don't tap out. Let, it, let God do His thing. I'm telling you right now, please. And everyone, I love you guys, JC. Thank you, hey, Moses. All you guys that kept me out from the, uh, you guys about the balance. You guys, when you kept me here that day, thank you. I love you, man. I really mean that, bro. Because I'm, 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 I'm a, you know what I mean? Straight up. But I love you guys, man. I really appreciate uh, everyone supporting me. Pastor Hall, I love you, Mr. Ween. I love you. I mean that with all my heart. You are my spiritual mother. I, I try, I respect you beyond, you are, the way you bring the word and the way you teach, Mr. Ween, is you are just, it's, 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 it's seriously, you are as your gift and you're walking in and I love to see. It's beautiful to see God moving. His spirit just moving you guys through this whole place. This place is alive, man. My turn. Tracy, how many times? He gave us 30 extra seconds. He didn't. How many times? How long did it take you to do this? This took me a lot. Say, I got here last October, so do the math. I mean, it's like 15 months. Two phases. 
kind of. Now, if you'd have slowed down and did it a little different. <laughs> well, I, I mean, I fell. And so you guys are going to fall. The Bible says, what, not if you're tempted, but when you're tempted, check it out. You're going to fall. Don't don't stay down, man. Get up. You ain't no chump. Well, just been get up. sometimes, but yeah. Get back up. Back. It's how you get up. It's like, Lord, what are you looking God is allowing you up for a reason. See, he's not just for you. No, he really does. He's going to teach you something, man. That's the Holy Ghost. He's speaking to your heart. Yeah. It's not just listen to it. Everything happens for a reason. That's how everything, all things work against me. 